So guys, in this tutorial... Wait, a tutorial? We haven't done a tutorial since like 2020. I know, it's been a while. But are you guys just bored of having a boring, stupid old mouse? <laughs> well, I am too. So why not get an animated mouse? Well, that's what we're gonna do in this video right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your browser and then open up this website called Real World Graphics. I'll make sure to link this down below in the description so you guys can access this link. And then once you open this up, we're going to go to Gallery and then we're going to look up Animated Cursor. I'm just going to click the first link here because it's just faster to do it that way. You guys can just keep looking until you find the one that you like, but I'm just doing this one. Once we find the one that you like, you're going to right click and they're going to do save image as. I'm just saving this to desktop. I'm going to name it smiley face. So now as you can see it is downloaded. We're going to open this up real quick. We don't need this anymore. So we're going to get out of that. We're going to open it and you can see how many frames are in this picture. On the application we're using the limit of frames is 24 I believe. So we have to get rid of three frames. I'm just going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of the last frame and I'm going to get rid of this frame right here and then I'll get rid of this one too. So now we should have 24 frames. We can play it over and over again, see how it looks. Yeah, that's fine, just like that. So now you can see it only has 24 frames now. Your thing can have less, but the limit is 24. So you cannot have more than 24 frames in your little animation. So now that we did that, the next website we need to use is easegift.com. So I'll also link this down below. And what you need to click is split. Then you drag and drop your picture into here. And once you've done that, you then click upload. Then you click split frames. And as you can see, it has split all the frames into an individual picture. So now we're gonna download this as a zip. I'm gonna name it smiley face as well. Um, I'm not very creative with that, but. And then we unzip the file. And as you can see, it has made it into 24 separate pictures instead of putting them all into one. So then what we need to do is we need to open a photo editor. It can be something like Canva. It can be something like Photoshop, Adobe, you know, just any of that stuff. But for you guys, I'm just going to show an example that's free for you guys to use. And that website is called Pixlr. And now that we're on the website, I'll also make sure to link this down below. We're going to go on Pixlr E. Then we're going to create a new image. We're going to name it smiley face cursor. And now for the width, this is what you're going to do. You're going to open up this picture again, select any one of them, then go to tools. And then we're going to go to adjust size and make sure this is on pixels. And as you can see, your thing might say something different, but mine says 48 by 48. So now we're going to get out of this. So for the width, we're going to put 48 and for the height, this is going to be different for everyone. But basically what you have to do is the number of the width times how many frames you have. So for me, it would be 48 times 24, which I believe is 1000. No, it would be 1152. And then make sure that this thing is turned off for background. So then we're going to click create. And then as you can see, the dimensions made this. So basically now what we need to do is we're going to open up the smiley face and you're just going to drag and drop every single one, press add current. And then we're going to make it go all the way from the top and then just make it go to the bottom. Every time you see this line, that means it's perfect. So I just have to do this 24 times and I'll do a time lapse of me doing it. Okay, so I finally placed all the pictures down on the line. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click save. Then we're gonna make sure it's a PNG. The background is transparent. And then we're gonna click save. So I'm just keeping the same name at this point. I'm saving it to desktop. And then we can finally quit out of here. And now what I need you to do, I need you to download this app called Mousecape. I made a video of how to download it. I'll link it down below in the description. And then you can come back to this video once you've downloaded it. So once you've downloaded it, you just look it up, Mousecape, obviously. I'm using this for my main cursor right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do file, new cape, and then we're gonna click on this new cape and then we're gonna right click and click edit. Once you've done that, I'm just gonna name the cursor smiley 
space like we've been doing this entire video and then you're gonna click the plus button right here and then as you can see it says unknown so basically we're gonna make it not unknown obviously we're gonna make it an arrow so then we're gonna get the image that we made the long image and there's 24 frames in here so we're gonna put 24 as you can see there's a little red dot right here we have to get it aligned into the middle so you just have to mess around with the coordinates just look at it until it's in the middle okay so i think i've got it pretty close in the middle so then as you can see the size right here it says 48 by 1152 we just have to put this as 48 as well now or you'll have like this really distorted image and the frame duration you can change the speed like i can do 0.5 to make it the animation faster 0.2 but if you like it at the normal speed you can keep it at one so i think i like it at 0.1 so i'm just gonna keep it at that and then we're gonna click out of it and we're gonna make sure we click save and then to apply this basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on it also for some reason when recording um it distorts the way the mouse looks but i'm just filming this on my phone right now so you can see that it actually works see it works perfectly fine it's not distorted or anything i can i can use it like a regular mouse it's just animated so i just wanted to make sure that y'all know this actually works so now you have your animated cursor and it works perfectly fine and now we have this animated cool looking mouse. Plug and connect like Wi-Fi. Sip a codeine at the fuck top. Mixing that lean like top.